little camp now. I mean, we're two weeks in. I mean, it seems like you're a lot more comfortable in the offense and in the game. It's been fun. It's been fun. I'm still learning every day. I don't think today was just my best day, but we had fun just learning. What are what do you need to learn? What, what what's the main step you're trying to take out? Um, just just small details, getting better. You know, um, just being being on it, uh, on the ball, off the ball, just small things like that. Kyle said you play like your hair is on fire. Is that just an enthusiasm you've always had? <sighs> That's just kind of like I just. That's why I pick football. I love football. It's a very physical sport. Um, just be out here and and have the, you know, Trey Sermon. I mean, uh, yeah, Trey Sermon. We got Trey, Trey, Trey area back there slinging that thing, man. I got I got to play like that, you know, just for my team. Speaking of Lance, can you describe what it's like to catch a pass from him? What's it look like coming out of his hand? What's it feel like when it hits your hand? It's a good ball. It's a good ball. He he throws the ball great, great spiral, and just it just takes time, you know, just. Uh, more reps. That's all it is. What, what was last year for you like after you got hurt? How did you maximize your time to, to get into the position that you are right now? Just grinding. A lot of grinding. Off season work. Uh, changing my diet. Um, just out here, just working my working my tail off. And, you know, just trying to be the best player. You know, to help this team win. That's it. How much better are you now than you were last year? Uh, that's kind of hard to gauge. Uh, last week was my first preseason game. I feel better, but. You know, just I'm just working my tail off. I just can't wait for the next one. What did you cut? What did you cut out of your diet? Uh, I cut out. Uh, personally, I'll let you know. I, I cut out pork. I don't eat pork anymore. Um, egg whites only. Uh, a lot of a lot of fish. A lot of fish. Baked fish. No fried foods. Uh, no sugar after eight o'clock. Um, fruit and then dairy. That's, you have an influence? Jordan, yeah, our nutritionist here, man. I, I went to him and sat down and told him I, I just I needed to change my body and I needed to do it now. And you know, he sent me up with a great game plan and and it's and it's worked. It's worked so far. <laughs> Kyle was really complimentary of your blocking the other day. Uh, how much pride do you take in your blocking and, and how how much more of it are you asked to do here versus at previous levels in high school and, and college? Uh, well, in high school I was a quarterback, so I didn't do it at all. Um, in college, I, I mean, I loved it. When I when I moved to quarterback, the receiver, I mean, that was that's part of my game, and I knew it was gonna be part of my game. Uh, but also, just you know, I I love football. That's why I pick football because it's a physical sport. So, you know, just just taking you know um, taking the classroom with Wes, you know, and and going out there and just run blocking as best as I can for the running backs we have. We got a guy who can run way faster than me with my head burning or whatever, hair on fire, you know, so I go out there and just trying to make the best plays. A couple more guys. Uh, do you, uh, well, let me ask you this, you and Matt is really feisty and physical, you know, broken tackles, blocking, and you had a couple incidents in college where maybe you were, you were too feisty on social media, <laughs> maybe too feisty on the sidelines. Did you learn from that and like, have you learned as you matured like it definitely, it's definitely, it's definitely. I know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, just sometimes I let my emotions get the best of me, and uh, just saying that that's not always the best situation. So yeah, it's always gonna be team first here. You know, I'm trying to protect the team, and that's what it's all about. I'll mention they tease you a little bit. I don't know if they tease you directly. Maybe they do. About oh, I can't hear you. So Kyle mentioned yesterday they teased you a little bit about combine numbers. I assume maybe you're 40. Yeah. Do you find this funny or not really? <laughs> I mean, yeah, man. This is with me. I was just thankful. Uh, I mean, I was just thankful to be able to go out there and compete at the combine. Like, that was a dream come true as well as just being at this podium right now is a dream come true. So just going out there to compete and then looking back at it, you know, my nephews, they – they get on me <laughs> every chance they can, you know. I'm not as fast as them, and you know they're probably right, but it just makes me go out there and work harder. All right. Thanks, Juan. Thank you.